Hey, Don back. Well, I've been working for a while. The uh, the battery ran down to zero on the phone. I thought, I started thinking, this has happened before, and I started thinking uh, a few times when I was outside using this open camera app, and I thought uh, either the, you know, it wasn't getting good, could, the power supply wasn't getting good connection in the extension cord I was using, uh, which, you know, would be logical, or that or that even, uh, I think when it's hot in the summer, it's using a lot of power to run these things. I think I have actually seen them when I was pretty darn sure they were getting good connection, getting power. You see the, you know, you can see the green thing that shows it's charging. <coughs> uh, <coughs> the green ba <coughs> battery indicator. Um, I don't have to stand there behind it. I'm always doing that because I have to aim the thing. The battery indicator. Of course, I don't know where I am in this picture, but I'm so tired. I, I skipped lunch, basically just skipped lunch. Now, I ate a protein bar, and I've been eating little, some little bitty things here and there, little tiny, you know, Hershey's nuggets and a cheese bar, cheese stick. And just ridiculous. I just want I kept thinking, well, I'm going to get this done right quick. Uh, the uh, I don't know what I've showed, but let's see. Can you even see it? I don't know what got on video and what didn't, but I've got a light fixture I found in my boxes. This old stuff. It turned out that it would its regular mount would just clamp it to the garage door things. I opened the door a minute ago just because I needed. Well, back to the extension cord. The reason this thing ran down, the extension cord was plugged into a power strip that wasn't turned on, and it's. I don't think I had it that way, but that's how it is. That's how it is right now. How it was the way I found it. And uh, maybe I did at some point and didn't realize because I was using the compressor, you know, and it'll shut itself down once it fills up. But uh, so it wasn't plugged in on the other end. It had no power. So uh, I plugged it into a different power strip up here that stays on all the time just now when I just now discovered it. And the, and the phone's been plugged into this other power strip. That's plugged into that same power strip. And... Uh, <clears throat> Um, I have a good, I've got a, 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 a circuit ran straight from the breaker to down here at the end corner of the garage, uh, which has a 20 amp and a, and a 15 amp that I can run lots of stuff on, you know. I can run my compressor, my welder, and of course you, uh, but anyway. So the battery, in the meantime, the battery charged about halfway up, so now it's recording, and because last time I turned it back on with it plugged in, but it, it just shut right back down, the, the app did. So you got to have some power on there for it to work. I know that much. So anyway, I've got it hanging up there. But, you know, that, that, that door, when it goes up and down, it just shakes the heck out of those rails. And that's just clamped in there now. So I'm going to put some self-tapping screws from up in the top into the bracket, or through the bracket into the brackets that I've got it clamped to that are part of the garage door thing. Oh, yeah, I need to find a self. There's one. That might have fell out of there. <clears throat> there's a screw that's fell out of the... the there's a, a bar with a bunch of holes in it. <coughs> I'll do that later. I'm going to just see if it fits. <coughs> I just happened to be digging through screws. I think I found what I needed. <coughs> um, let me get something I can drive out with. Ouch. do it now if I need a I might need a ratchet maybe what all I really need to drive it is this ratchet this little quarter inch ratchet because there's probably already holes there I've got the drill out and I thought well I'll just drive it with the drill because I'm all set up for that but maybe a little overkill so I'll get this out because while I'm over, I'm doing all this, I'm gonna try to fix that. Actually, I think I'll do it now. I think I can just turn the thing over there. Yeah, you can see just what I was talking about. I just now noticed it was just flopping around. Whenever I was, uh... yeah, 
Yeah, I went, I went to use the drill, turn the drill on to test it, you know, before. I always do that when I, you know, when I to use it, I hit the trigger. Well, it didn't do it. Now it does. So, uh, let me get up here. See if I can put, either put it back in the same hole or make a new one for it. that it may be stripped out. Yeah, if it's stripped out. So I believe I'll try putting it in another hole. A little higher than it was before, but I think that'll be good. So, same principle, just for smaller screws. Hopefully, this is all going to reach like it should. Let's see. Oh, and there's a a thick paper, I guess, gasket kind of a thing that would, that you can see went with this. I thought I would lay it up there while I'm drilling these holes so the metal won't go down in there. I got to thinking, well, they're going to... Oh, yeah. It, I can just clean it out. But I think I'll put this over it. Maybe, yeah, I'll put it over it and put the wire still in there. and If, if I can get it to do any good... First, let's just let me see if I can secure this bracket. It's already clamped, so all I got to do is just find the wires that want to want to get in the way. So I got to figure out a way to make sure the you know these turning things don't get into my wiring. I don't think they will. I'm not sure how far they go there when you open the door. I might open the door again. These are self-tapping screws. That other one wasn't just now, but it still works. Oh, oh good, it caught that when it fell. These are not, well, they're, this is magnetic. But, but these are not very, they're too big and heavy. Can't get my hands out of there. They're like wire. There, I was gonna fix and lose what I had. Now these darn tension cords are gonna get up the wall. My big knot, I gotta use that big old knot to keep it from unplugging, but it gets hung. So let's see what I can do. On this side, I can't see it too well. There we go. Yeah, plenty of room. Another step on here. I want to stand on that tray. And then my tippy toes. I think that ladder takes me higher, but this is more stable, this other thing on it. Oh, it's on reverse, I think. Yes, it is. That's what's wrong. I was fixing to throw a different screw because I thought this one was messed up. Sometimes my hand, my hand does that all the time. It hits reverse by accident. Let's try that on the screen. Let's just check this out. something to double check. Got 
gotta be careful with those. You you will break something off real quick with that drill. You gotta know how to use it. But that's what I grew up on. But yeah, these are pretty good. You can just stick them right in the the driver that you usually use for Phillips or whatever. Got a Phillips spec in there. And uh, some more around. I'm stumbling. Let me see if my Put these back. I was thinking I would get a what size was that. Now I don't know which one it was. Oh, where's that screw? The other one that I didn't use. 1130 seconds? Or is it 316? I don't know what I was using. 530, 516. I think I was using the right one. The next one will kind of hold it, but not great. 516. So what I want is a socket. Oh, I could just use that same one on the nut driver. I was thinking I'd get a ratchet, but I don't need a ratchet. So there you go now. Yes. This one. There's in the very back of that tray, so you can't. Uh, I forgot to put my ratchet in. I want to make sure that it's tight. I, I'm almost certain, but I want to make sure. Oh, let me use my nice, nice ratchet thingy. Uh, it's probably too long to put up there. Let's see. No. Yeah, that's the time I can turn. Sometimes you... You let go just right, but sometimes you don't. Okay. Sometimes you break them off if you don't watch out, like I was saying. I mean, sometimes you break them off if you're watching out. That is secured. So even if the, uh, you know, that's going to shake it. Uh, I know the garage door going up and down shakes it a lot. So now it might break, bend the brackets or break the screws. But if it does, then uh, uh, I'll know. That th I'll just take it down. I decided, I, I was talking about it, but I don't know if it got on the video. I, I, I was thinking about all the different things I could do. Since the, the fixture that was up there was up on the ceiling, it was shocking me when I screwed the adapter in there for the plug. And I thought, well, if I'm going to have to replace the light socket, and I got to looking at all what I had, that turned out to be the simple, quickest, easiest thing to do. And so uh, I decided to do that right tonight because I was getting tired. But I thought, you know, finally after all this, I thought, think about adding a, a plug box and then hooking this and letting this go through it. But I thought, you know what? I don't want my plug switched. I want it to always be on so my security camera is always on if it's plugged in. And really just for running extension cords and stuff, that's really the way I'd really want it. So the wire comes down from the attic to the switch and then back up out of the switch up to the light. So all I gotta do is put me a plug box on the wall. I'm not pointing in the right area that well. Put me a plug box on the wall in between the... can't see the switch, I'm too high, but in between those two rails for the doors and uh, um, I'll have it but for right now well actually I don't know I'll, I may I just want to get the light up so you know I can still get it up by using the adapter I don't like it at all though I don't want that big old heavy adapter hanging out there let's see what this is all going to be like let me go over here and put the Put this one of the bulbs in. I'll have to go get another bulb. Ah! Oh. Caught it. You see me drop 
the live bulb, you probably couldn't see it because it was in, I was hiding it. Dropped it and I fumbled it. I, I bounced it around like juggling balls, but I did get it. Oh, I don't have the light switch up yet. I gotta hook up the power. But that's what I may do, at least for now. Get some new wire nuts. Those wire nuts are just seem like they're about wore out. I'm blue wire nuts too, I? Yeah, this is the dumbest day I've had. Of me doing. I'm diabetic. I can't push it as far as I've been pushing. Those are too little. Without eating it right, you kind of mean it now. Oh, here's the good one. size is what I mean to say, not the good ones. Well, they are good, they're brand new, but... Uh, putting away some stuff as a while well, I had that box dug out. Okay, now. Yeah, not good for me to some, not, most of the time, I can't even climb the rail. <laughs> but I've been feeling better, so. Climb around on ladders and stuff. I, I have to generally hang on to the walls to keep from falling. And now, right now, today, I have become, but just now I'm really, I was okay, but just now I'm really, really dizzy from going too long without eating. I gotta hook something up there to hold that somehow. First I'll hook it up and then I'll figure out where, what I need to do. Ow! That ground water gave me a shock when I was touching that. Uh, when I'm touching these rails, that groundwater's hooked up to something. It doesn't give it, show any power. It must be ran all the way back to the breaker box. And, uh, I don't want to be touching any more of that. It must be run all the way back to the breaker box. I checked these a while ago. Gotta be careful, though. Yeah, I've got to keep this wire up off of the... Maybe I better do that now. Yeah. Off the doors when they come up and down. Well, I think I better wire it up first. Yeah. Okay, that's an old one. Yeah, so, uh, it's probably wired to the breaker box in our house only has two wires. So when you do that, you, it works, but you can get a little bleed back. Ow! That's more than a little bleed back. Oh, that switch acts like it don't work right. Where's my gloves? You can't tell. I almost wonder if it's wired wrong or something. I normally don't, uh, I've never had that trouble, uh, this was here, yeah, this was here when we got the house, so whoever wired that, I'm wondering, if, did I stuck the light on it, you have my, uh, I did this already, but let's do it again, I did the, uh, 
I've got, an I've got another one of those lots. I'll try it too, man. I'll try to multi it and see if I get any kind of voltage. I saw them stuff is in the way here. Every time I go up and down the ladder, I get my feet hung on one of those things. Okay, let's see. Not sure how. Yeah, these won't reach all of them. Yeah, that's not some little trace of voltage. It's enough to really hurt. And it start. I've started to actually feeling it trying to clamp me down, trying to make me hold to it. So it may be. I didn't get anything when I checked it. The switch is off down there and I tried I checked it with the, uh, the multimeter and the lights and I didn't get anything but something's getting me so uh, I'm gonna figure out where I'm gonna put the multimeter I guess I'll hold it in my hand so if I touch this ground oh, maybe it's uh, and that can come along there. You know, I kept thinking it was the ground wire. I wasn't touching it. Okay, 5 volt AC for that ground wire. Yeah, just enough to scare the piss out of me. Oh! Okay, from that white wire, which I always forget, well, it depends if it's wired right, too, but from the white wire to the garage door thing get 64 volts AC. Now that's what was getting me because my arms were touching this. And that thing is mounted to a 2 by 4 to all those studs in there. So about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 or 7 2 by 4s across there. So to the ground wire it's not what I was thinking like being wired wrong necessarily. But the switch is still Okay, so the switch must only be on the other circuit, the, the black wire. It's not switching both, it's just switching one, evidently. So that's where you can, even when you got a switch, you, uh, that's how you can get shocked right there. You're not getting 120 volts, but you're getting enough to hurt, and I'm sure it's getting five. That wouldn't hurt you, five volts. I, I wouldn't want to short it on purpose through my body, but. Uh, 64 volts, 63. That's enough to give you a, a pain. Cause I know, cause it just hurts. <laughs> it it kind of just feels like a little vibration, and then the next thing you know, you're you're feeling. I started feeling that clamp down, like I said, like when you're really getting shocked with 120 volts. Now I've got to figure out how to do this. getting hurt okay so uh, yeah I'll put my gloves on that'll help quite a bit actually I might be able to do it with them oh there's that new new wire nut that I have it handy there we go of course with gloves on I can't can't get that out of my pocket well I have to just take the gloves on and then so we don't want to be I was thinking maybe I should do that with the wiring but Actually, it needs to be kind of down like that to me. Keep that ground away from them white wires. Now I just want to get this out of my way. Ground wire might help to hook it up to the... No, that would probably just keep the shock more. Saying I might hook the ground wire up to the this. But actually, I don't understand... Let's see. It's got to be grounded. This must be hooked up. Maybe it's anchored deeply in the concrete at the bottom or something. I didn't really expect this thing to be grounded, but it is. It 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 sends it completes an AC circuit. So uh, you know, these lever the gloves. Of course, they're not safe for electricity, but it was unintended to probably be jumping through them and biting me. But they're all right for. Uh, 
are enough for 64 volts evidently because um, it's not really getting me it's looking like I need to get me a little more wire strips on that let me let me cover that back up put the wire up back on here kind of wondering about this other one I think before I go on I'll check it that's a good place for it to set up oh no it's not yeah it is it sits still I'm going to test this, uh, test this other wire. I don't, because I'm figuring nothing will go through it. Let's see if I'm, on, if I'm right. We're getting 12 volts AC, not DC. There, let's see now. Let's go to the ground wire over here. Getting about almost 10 volts, 9.85 through the ground. So, uh, <clears throat> that switch, and that's a new switch I put that on. I don't really understand why. I mean, I've seen it happen a lot. Uh, it depends on how the switches are wired. Like I said, if it's only on one leg, then the other leg can be completely hot. You know, 110 volts. If you get grounded. And normally in the house, you don't get grounded. Not like this. But this big old metal frame, it's either just touching the garage floor, and that's enough to ground it. Or it's actually bolted in there with some anchors, which would really, I would think, could, could possibly ground it enough. And that's probably why, well, I mean, it's not like, a, you know, to be, truly get to ground, you need to go down like, they say, well, to be a safe ground for like a TV antenna or something, you know, to draw out a, a real ground into the ground, so to, like your third wire, you know, your neutral wire, the ground that is ran into the ground, it needs to be two or four feet to get, to be considered safe. But the thing is, if you're touching the ground, and you uh, also t you touch the ground. You're touching the ground and you touch hot. That's when you get it. You know that completes the circuit. And with uh, so anyway, uh, it's not all cut and dried like, like DC. DC is can be dangerous too, but it's a lot less. Of course, it won't hurt unless you got like, of course, if you've ever worked on cars and you touch the ignition coil, you get, get about 1500 volts and more AC. And go, it'll, it'll make you feel like your elbow's going to blow out of its socket. It's just a lot of pain. It's not like uh, AC. It doesn't pull you to it, clamp you to it. Okay, so that confused me. Luckily, I didn't. Blessing of the Lord that I didn't get. As much as I've been complaining, you would not not know that I'm so trusting the Lord and asking Him what to do. The Lord Jesus. Ah, oh, but uh, uh, let me see. Uh, well, shoot. What did I come down for? Oh, I saw it in all, all my stuff today. I think I saw it in a... Saw it in something today. Here it is. No, that's not it. Yeah, this is it. This is actually... Oh, yeah, that's fine. It says on here, fridge screws, but I got this thing in here. That is a wire uh, I got a bunch of these I don't know if that came with the refrigerator but it's a perfect wiring I've got where are they I may have one that's already got a quarter 20 hole in it this one's got a small hole in it I'll have to drill it out I want I'm going to use something like this I'm just going to use that old 
hanger that's in the ceiling I don't think you can really you can't see it at all even if I, well if I aimed on up there you might see it yeah you can see that silver thing at the top of this top middle uh, that is where that other old light, the light that I took down that was shocking me I don't know this may not <laughs> thinking now as long as my wires once I get that hooked up, I'll kind of test and see. This may be a dangerous way to hook that up. Because, uh, you know, anytime you touch that garage door rail, you may get shot. So we'll see. That may not be a good idea. Uh, like I said the other day when I'm working on the computer, any, no matter what I'm doing, if I, I don't want to quit till I get... If I can't finish, then at least want to get something... It's done. Something that, and this, I want, didn't want this light all took apart and not working. Not that it's all that super important. It's just that I had all the tools out. Well, now I've drug out more and more stuff. I should have went in and ate. And, uh, but I'm to the point where all I have to do is hook it up and put in another bulb and it'll be working. So I'm going to try to finish it. So, a hanger. Well, I do need something to hang. That's the best thing I can think of. All that Romex, get it where it's not drag, getting it tangled up in those those cables, because those those, uh, those pulleys move the, uh, uh, when the door opens and shut. The spring, it, yeah. When the door opens, it goes that way. So I think that's as far this way. But then the one on the end, you know, it uh, the door rides on that one. The the cables that pull the door open down. So you got I gotta uh, secure that. I'm just trying to think where I've got these bracket things. Here's stuff here and there, so if I need one, I'd be able to. I'd have it. And I'm trying to think. Oops. This is uh, my toolbox. I kind of have it set up so that if it was in the car, in, in the truck of the car, you know, truck would be for me. Uh, you're in the truck. If I throw it in the truck and, and I'm working on stuff, you know, I'm going somewhere to work on stuff, then uh, here we go. Yeah, this is what I want. Don't know if it'll go over that. I don't think it'll go over that. I think I'll have to drill it out. I've got drill. I've got my drills out and everything. I'll crawl up there and see if it goes over it. But this is what I. This is really what I want. This is rubber. It's metal. It's tough. It won't break. And it's rubber. Oh, it's also not really big enough for that. <laughs> it's not. It's not going to let that giant conduit go through. That plastic one will be all right. I'm being silly. Being too, too particular for how tired I am. This other one. Uh, I think I'll have to drill it out. But it's got a lot bigger hole in it. And I got all kind of, I got some better ones than this. You know that I, if I ever need one on the. I was just thinking if that came off the refrigerator. I might need it again. I, I think. It was for a tubing, not for electrical, so I'm, I'm pretty sure. But, uh, like a water line, you know, for the ice maker. I don't know. I, don't know. I may have just stuck that in there, too. Could it be? It says that refrigerator screws. There's one screw in there. Fred screw and... Oh, it does say bracket. Hose bracket. Yeah. I can't hardly read my writing, but I finally have to write it. Realize 
realize there's nothing that says <laughs> that I have to use that thing. As a matter of fact, that'd be a nice thing to have down from there to use for other things. I got screws everywhere. Get me one of my nice black. Oh, that's a computer port box. I'll get me one of my just one of my you know the right length of screws. I've got a bunch that I've stacked bo my box of screws over there, my basket of screws, the ones that are all brand new. I stacked to stack it with boxes a while ago to get started working. But I have more. Let's see, that's not. Something so long I can't drive it. So yeah, I'm, there's two before up there. That's what that thing is mounted to. I just need something that's not looking. Oh, here's what I need right here. Perfect length. Well, no, that's not long enough. Got to be longer, long enough to go through the sheet drum. Okay. Yeah, I've dug out some screws tonight. Those aren't screws. Those are lids and stuff. Face frame screws. No, I don't want to ruin, use face those. Uh, face, when I was a cabinet maker, we built face frames but uh, for the cabinets. And now they call them, uh, we call it a face frame machine or whatever. Now they have those little, I've got one now, Craig jig for drilling. They call them pocket holes now. Okay, so I just need about an inch and a half screw. Of course, it's the one I'm not seeing as I dig around here, but I'll find it. Oh, there we go. There. Well, that one's empty. Okay. Just get a couple of those and. I always like to come with at least two. Oh, well, they're still soaked with... I always spray my screws with... Uh, See if I can get under it with my hammer. See the bracket it went down there somewhere it landed somewhere down there but i got it down it was actually really easy now it won't be in the way of me hanging my wire up there and uh what are we looking at here 
Yeah, there we go. Okay. This thing, this back over here. Now and that's for one of those light up things like like I was using. I was actually using this one earlier. It's only gonna light up for 110. So it won't tell you that you have 64 volts. This one, I didn't realize it's actually been, it was out here in my toolbox. I've got, it'll do 110, 220, 227, 240. That's pretty cool, quick, easy way to find out what kind of voltage you're dealing with. I better leave it in the toolbox because, you know, this one, pretty handy in the house to have a quick, quick check. But, uh, I decided I do I think that I can get that rubber one on there and it's stronger I'm gonna use it now that I, re now that I realize I don't have to drill out holes and everything it won't be too hard <coughs> I've drilled these out before they're tricky because they don't want to match up <coughs> but just running one of those screws through it and clamping that'll be perfect rubber insulated and and then you know strong metal 
It's not aluminum, it's uh, <coughs> stainless steel, I think. long enough so it would actually breach. I knew where the stud was because of where the old stuff was up there. That's pretty long to get it, get a stud if it was there. Got she rock in my face. Where is it? Okay, I have a stud finder, but I believe I'll use the old fashioned kind. Is this too hard to get to? I think. Or is it in there? I don't know. It doesn't work that good anyway.
Now that's, I saw something. That is really where I want that center, uh, that wire to come down from centered over that. So. I've got a bunch of these. Brand new bags of those sheetrock anchors. The other rest of it I can pull off just out of the way and use that plastic. And there we go. <coughs> Got some screws that are longer too.